Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. I'm out here at New River, Jacksonville, North Carolina. It's super early in the morning. Super slick. All right, early bird gets the worm, so to speak. All right, we got the UL19 out here today. I got another boat in the truck. All right, uh, today we're going to be doing some speed runs. I only have one set of packs, and um, this will be the first speed run with the boat since I've modified my turn fin. So I hope I got all this right. Do a couple little test passes, feel it out, and then give it to the Beans. So stick around, Big B, we're not in Clad RC. So start, got the 10 shock, 2050 KV, 2240 in there. All right, reading. <laughs> All right, got a big boy prop, so we'll just basically do one pass, bring it in, check the speed, and then I think I might put two, I might put this two two separate props on. Okay, really nice out here. Check this turn fin. Okay, so I need to pull that turn fin down. Very minute adjustment. All right, let's see what that does. Might have to put another prop on. There we go. Yeah, I had to thin the, the width of this fin out. Let's go ahead and get some rip in. Okay. Wasn't too bad. My heart's beating really hard. Get a little feel for it there. Let that motor cool off because I got a big prop on. Real quick rip. Oh, 76. Let's go, boy. Let's go with a loose running boat. Let's freaking go, boy. Yes, sir, buddy. Yes, sir, buddy. Come on. 76, man. We're a 3760. Start. Yes, yeah, she was a little loose. I had to come off of it. It started. 76 all right so i'm gonna get me a good pool i'm gonna let all these ripples cool down let this boat cool down I'm trying to keep it short like short burst here oh no I got on it real hard. I got a little antsy, man. It was running loose and I should have, I should have uh, took it a little easier, you know? It's not sinking, so that's good. Oh, it's good. No water. Oh, that's good, yes. I guess it just slapped. So stop. That little motor's got some oomph, boy. 81 mile an hour flip. Oh, why couldn't I held that thing out? Jeez. All 
right, she ain't got no water and she's had time to cool, so let's put a different prop on. So this is a 1719. I bought this prop for my rigger and this boat. Start. Yeah, tape didn't come up, so we're good. <coughs> I'm gonna try, try to take it easy. But you guys know me. I probably should have went down that turn fin a little bit more. Let's fill it out here. Okay, feels pretty good. Yeah, it feels all right. All right, we'll let the waves cool down. I'll probably cut the video. I'm proud of 76, I'm proud of that. <laughs> I'm proud of it, you know? pretty proud of that number 76 without a flip it was a nice looking run I'll take it yeah I think we got like a standstill on the tide it's not moving whatsoever so Sooner or later, that, the tide will start coming in and running into that tide. It'll flip my boats easy. All right, let's give it a rip here. <laughs> made me a little hook <laughs> and I got lucky as all get out I got it around the the, the cooling line and, and and backed her on out it took me a few minutes to finagle it out but I got it I got it so uh, let's check the speed I didn't flip I just ran it aground like a dodo 76 again stuck at that 76 start battery's probably about dead oh my turn fin got knocked out of place here try that man oh I got lucky with that one always an adventure always an adventure <laughs> oh boy so I'm just gonna go out and just do a little quick run. I don't want to do the same thing. It's a big prop, pitchy prop anyway. One more pass and we'll check temp. 19 pitch, 17. All right, let's bring her in. Gotta be our battery. What was that, four, four passes and a couple ovals? With aggressive props. Got my charger with me. I almost want to go charge the battery. Stop. I had you guys zoomed in a lot. Hopefully you caught that. 70. Okay. Well, that was good. I'm happy. I'm happy. We'll check temps with these bigger props on. I'm probably going to have some water in the boat. Kind of, kind of, uh, kind of was being careless today. Really. It's nice to get out here. With, without any wind, without any fishermen, you know, it's really nice and I kind of wanted to take advantage of it. I hope I didn't mess anything up. Salt water, or, well, it's actually fresh today. It's like a fresh water. 
I don't even taste any salt. So if there is water, it won't be too bad. And that's the benefit on these um, silver wrapped motors. They tarnish. The silver tarnishes. It doesn't, it doesn't corrode like a normal copper wire. Well, that's good. Let's see. Let's get my temp going. Everything feels good. So that might actually be a pretty good prop for the boat. Oh man, 109, a 17, 19, 145, about four ovals there. It wasn't the whole pack or nothing, but uh, man, that's actually really sweet. 92, ESC's cool, what an adventure. So I was running these SMC 8800s here. Uh, these are not my speed run packs for this boat. They're uh, only 120C, but they did the trick. They actually did pretty good. Um, let's get a voltage. Because I hope I didn't take it, keep it out there too long. I do not like over discharging packs. Oh, man, that's good. That's perfect. High cycle life. They're, they're high capacity packs, and I like them. I like them. You need to go up in milliamp because they're, you know, they're light. These are light batteries compared to all the SMC's other batteries. These are light. So you can go up in milliamp, you know. Uh, so we'll, we'll get that turn fin dial in, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, yeah, man. What a, what a good day on the water. So I'm going to get my animal. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.